Good morning, welcome to Morning Math, day six. Have your pencil ready and your paper to write on. You know what we do, let's get started. Right, question one in year three, I'm going to write it in a different place. I'm going to write it here now, because I've got pictures on the board. So question one, the value of the two in 281. That's what that number says, 281. So we have a picture of 281 over here. This is a hundred. There's a hundred little squares in there. This is another hundred. So that, those red blocks, all 100, 200 of them, that represents this two because it's in a hundreds column. Then we have eight of these tens. You recognize these? These are 10 and there's eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight tens. And then this is units, just the little one, one unit. So we have 200, the red ones, 80, eight tens, and one unit. And that's 281. What's the value of the two in 281? I'll write the answer here, it's two hundreds. So write this down. This is how you spell hundreds. I'm sure you'll be neater than me, two hundreds. If I write that in digits, it is a two. Instead of an eight and a one, you put two zeros. Two hundreds. That's what two hundreds is worth. It's worth two hundred, of course. So this is the first time this year we've looked at these hundred blocks. Anyway, I'll answer two hundreds in brackets two hundred. I'll give you a few seconds to copy there. that, and we'll be moving on to question two. Of course, you could pause the video. So question two. I will now use the squares for question two. We're doing five plus four. Five plus four. So we go to our number line five. You can go to your ruler, and then you add four. One, two, three, four, and we get to nine. Five plus four is nine. Go straight on to question three. Question three. Make sure you're keeping up. It's eight, take away three. We're going to start on eight and we take away three. One, two, three. You go this way because it's take away. The answer, as you can see, is five. So make sure you get all that recorded. Maybe you're well ahead of me at this point, but many of you will be with me, and that is just fine. We've done question two. Next will be on question, we've done question three as well, and next will be on question four. Question four is four times two. So I'll get four, you know how I do these. I'll get four, one, two, three, four. Instead of just having it one time, I'll get it two times. Here it is again, one, two, three, four. And then you find out what you've got all together by counting those dots and it will be eight. Four times two equals eight. Or you could sing your way through your two times table song if you've been learning that. You could do two multiplied by four. It's two, it's four, it's six, and then it's eight. As you can see, it's definitely eight. Let's go on to question five. Six divided by three. Six divided by three. Divided by means shared. So if I get six dots, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm gonna share them between three, three groups. Put one group up here, put one group over here, one group over here, you can see each group has two because six divided by three equals two. Six divided by three, that's an equals, equals two. And that's year three done. Let's move on to year four, so I didn't move this down actually quick enough. Let's do question six. Value of three in 4,358. Value of the three in 4,358 units, tens, hundreds. It's in the hundreds, isn't it? And thousands. We're looking for the value of the three, and it's three hundreds. Three hundreds. And if we write then digits, that is three, zero, zero, three hundred. Let's move on to question seven. Question seven is 579 plus 212 
579 plus 212. 9 plus 2 is 11. Carry the 1. 7 plus 1 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. 5 plus 2 is 7. 791. Make sure you get that copied down and we'll go on to question 8. 672. Take away 335. 672 take away 335. So 2 take away 5. If you've got 2 counters, you can't give away 5 because you've only got 2. So we need to get some help. Units goes to the more powerful tens column. 7 goes down to a 6. So you can borrow one of those tens and bring it over here. 12 take away 5 we can do. That is 7. 6 take away 3 is 3. And 6 take away 3 is 3. So minus makes things smaller. 600, 672 got smaller. Let's move on to question 9. Question 9 is 31 multiplied by 5. Let's get a bit more space. And I'll do the grid method for this question. Not that much space. I've done that before, haven't I? Um, 31 multiplied by 5. So let's get the grid method. Which you probably covered in year 3. We split the 31 into a 30 and a 1, and we multiply it by 5. 31 multiplied by 5. So, in this box, 3 times 5 is 15. Place the 1, 0 from the question. And over here, 5 times 1 is 5. So it's 150 and 5. 150 and 5, very easy to add up. It's going to be 155. You don't have to do the column method if you don't need to, just be careful. And it is 155. 31 times 5 is 155. Question 10. 48 divided by 2. Lots of ways of doing this, but now the numbers are getting bigger. I'm going to go with that bus stop that we used yesterday. So what you do to do the bus stop is you put the first number inside the bus stop, 48. There it is inside, sheltered from the rain. That's supposed to be rain. Does that look like rain? That's supposed to be rain. Oh, the sun's come out now. So 48 divided by 2, you say how many of the 2s fit into 48? So first, how many of the 2s fit into this 40? This is worth 40, isn't it? Because it's 4 tens and units. But how many of the 2s fit into 40? It is a lot, but we can say how many 2s fit into 4. And it's, it's 2, it's 4, I count on my fingers, and it's 2. But of course, this, is really, this 2 is really going to be worth 20 because there's going to be another digit here in the end, isn't there? Then we say how many 2s fit into 8, it's 2, it's 4, it's 6, then it's 8, and it's 4. So we get 24. So how many 2s fit into this 40 was 20 units and 10s. How many 2s fit into the 8? How many 2s fitting into the 8 was 4? Let's move on to question 11. Value of 4 in 4 million, well this is a big number for your 5, 4 million 375,000. Let's just get rid of this in case you're waiting. 231. The value of the four, that's going to be in the millions column. Um, units, tens, hundreds. This is thousands. This is ten thousands. This is hundred thousands. And this column is millions. So the value is four millions. We write it like this. Four millions. Do you remember how to write it in figures, 4 million? It's very good to be able to do that, to know that. The 4, you replace everything else with zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zero digits to put on. 1, I can't, I'll have to squeeze these in. I can't use my squares properly, I'll run out of space. Make sure I've got 6 zeros. Commas go 3 from the end. 4 millions is, of course, 4 million. Time for question 12. <coughs> Question 12, 5,437 added to 2,985. Four digits plus four digits. Seven plus five is 12. Three plus eight is 11, plus one is 12. Four plus nine plus one is 14. Five plus two is seven plus one is eight. 8,422. Just checking over that. 
And we'll move on to question 13. As I always say, pause the video if you need to catch up. Question 13, 7,008, my mouse is going funny at the moment, 7,893. Take away 2,538. Um, three take away eight, we can't do. If you had three pounds, you couldn't give away eight pounds. So, need some help from the nine, which goes down to an eight. An eight. I'm trying to write eight. And we can get one. So, 13 take away eight is five. Eight take away three is five. Eight take away five is three. Seven take away two is five. 5,355 we get. Make sure you get that copy down if you're with me, and we go on to question 14. 2,572 times 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 2 is 22. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. 10,288 is our answer. Commas go three from the end. 10,288. Question 15, last of the year five level questions. 4,629 divided by three. How many threes fit into four? It's one. Remainder one. How many threes in 16? Three, six, nine, 12, and 15 is five. Remainder 1. How many 3's in 12? 3, 6, 9, 12 is 4. How many 3's in 9? 3, 6, 9 is 3. 1,543. Let's go to year 6. 16, the value of the 6 in 2.56. So what column is the 6 in, basically? I line up the decimals. The units comes before the decimal point. 5 is in the tenths column. 6 is in the hundredth column. What's the value of the 6? It's 6 hundredths. So, 6 hundredths. In brackets, 6 hundredths. Okay, and on to question 17. Oh, by the way, decimal, it might say the decimal on the answer page is 0 0.06. Because the 6 is in this column, 0 0.06. Let's go on to question 17. Add in decimals. This is not too hard to line up, as long as you line up the decimal point. 44.87. And 36.41. Let's add those. 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. 4 plus 6 is 10 plus 1 is 11. 4 plus 3 plus little 1 is 8. 81.28. Quick check. And we're on question 18. Lining up is still quite easy. We're just getting used to making sure we line up this decimal point every time. 8.97 minus 2.42. It will get harder. I'll put in the trick questions over the weeks. 8.97 minus 2.42. 7 take away 2 is 5. 9 take away 4 is 5. 8 take away 2 is 6. 6.55. And time for question 19. 4,893 times 4. Oops. 4, 4,893 times 4. 4 times 3, 12. 4 times 9, 36. Plus 1, 37. 4 times 8, 32. Plus 3, 35. 4 times 4, 16. Plus 3, 19. 
19,572. 19,572. And question 20. Division, just with the large number, no decimals, so a whole number. 54,985. We're going to divide this by 5. How many 5s in 5? 1. How many 5s in 4? 0. Carry to 4. How many 5s in 49? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. It is 9. I sang to 45, that says 49, so the remainder is 46, 47, 48, 49, 4. I counted in ones and the remainder was 4 ones. How many 5s in 48? It's going to be 9 again, this time remainder 3. And how many 5s in 35 is 7? 10,997 is how we say that. We've done all our 20 questions, let's have a look at the answers. 10,997 and all the others. Get ready to pause if you haven't already. I'll see you again next time.